Hey everyone, it's Katie. Um, and today I'm gonna do like <laughs> today is an update video of where my Invisalign is at. So if you saw my last video, then you'll know that I've had Invisalign. Well, I, I, yeah, I've had it. <laughs> Um, I made a video about it, talking about it, my experience and all that stuff, the things I thought that you should know if you're considering getting it. Missy. Um, but yeah, all that kind of stuff. And so today I'm just going to give you an update. Um, I have finished my Invisalign, so I had my final appointment. Well, it's not my final appointment. I still have another one in a few months, but it was my finishing appointment. Like, they grinded everything off. Um, if you saw everything that I had going on, it was pretty... Like, almost every tooth had something glued to it. <laughs> which is not very pleasant, but they grinded it all off, which is not the most fun experience, but it's bearable. Um, but I will say one thing about that. Um, two back teeth on the top when he when the guy was grinding them it was hurting so so bad and now like um they are so sensitive so I feel like he must have grinded too much um too much like some of my tooth off and not just the attachment that was on so that's kind of a little annoying because it's really painful now. I can't even like wash my mouth out with just like the tap water. It has to be freaking like hot. Well like almost hot, you know? And I mean if you have sensitive teeth you know what it's like but it's it's just really annoying. And I feel like it's kind of my fault too because I should have said something like hey that's kind of hurting. <laughs> but the more that I sat in those dentist chairs the more that I figured out that if you just sit there and shut up, then the quicker it's going to be over. But in that case, I really should have said something because now I have to deal with this and it kind of sucks. <laughs> but anyway, aside from that, everything was good. My teeth are all smooth now, if you can see. Um, I'm pretty happy with how straight they are. And I have before and after photos, so I'll include them at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Um, but anyway, yeah, everything was pretty good. They did, like, another x-ray thing, I don't know, just to get, like, an after one, I suppose. And so now I have just, like, a normal retainer, and, um, I only wear this at night time. I just put this in at night when I go to sleep. And they gave me the bonded wires on the top and bottom teeth as well. So I have the retainer and the bonded wires. I feel like some people said that they got to choose which one they wanted, like the retainer or the bonded wire, but I didn't get a choice, they just did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try and give you a view of the bottom one. I'm, I don't think I'll be able to get the top one, but just so you know like what it is and stuff. And so yeah, that's basically that's basically holding the front teeth and, you know, oh my god, <laughs> the retainer is to, you know, help everything else stay. Um, so with the bonded wire, it is, they gave me these little things to try and floss, like, in between where the wire is and, like, under it and stuff. Crazy. Um, but anyway, it's just like a floss threader, if you can see it. But it is like you thread the floss through the loop and then you stick this through and pull it straight through your tooth. So that is probably the hardest thing about this whole thing because I can, I can get it through the bottom teeth but the top teeth is freaking, it's hard. But the lady there was telling me about um, another thing, this little guy, Super Floss, that she said is a little easier. It's basically the same concept. Um, yeah, it comes in a cute little packaging. I like that. This is Oral-B. This is the only one that I could find, so I don't know if there's other brands that do it. But you basically pull it out. And just like the other thing, it has a pointy 
a pointy kind of, oh, okay, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so it kind of, it has the pointy end, which you jab through your tooth, and then it has this kind of fluffy floss bit, I don't know, that's supposed to clean more, and then it just has normal floss on the end of it. So it's just one big long string, no threading or anything, but it's still pretty hard and unpleasant and not my favorite part and I will say there is times where I skip it <laughs> just because it's really hard and I don't want to deal with it so if you're in the same boat as me and you're having trouble with it um, tell me if you have like alternatives that you've done that work for you or like different methods different things that you've used or maybe you just don't even do it <laughs> but just let me know because uh, that's the most that I'm having trouble with that and also any tips about like sensitive teeth I'd really like that because it's so so painful and in terms of brushing I started using this guy the Colgate Optic White I've heard that it works pretty good so hopefully I will get some more wider teeth because there is a little bit of discoloration on the sides but yeah, always room for improvement. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that's basically everything. I'm going back for another appointment, so if anything drastically changes at that appointment, I'm going to tell them about my like sensitive teeth, though. I don't know if they can do anything or not, but I will tell them. So if anything else drastically changes at that appointment, or like, I'll let you know afterwards and do a video about it. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this and maybe even your experiences. Um, maybe this has, you know, changed your mind about getting Invisalign, that kind of stuff. I would really like to know. And yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all. I'll put in the before and after pictures now. Bye.